excitement over the last week. First off, I launched my first ever travel series. Second off, y'all came back with the most amazing, thoughtful comments as you watched my series, Travel Hyundai, and I cannot be more thankful. I just sat in bed with the popcorn, reading the comments every single night. Here are some of them. Did Monaco say mommy at the end of 22 minutes? Monaco, did you say mommy? Okay, so she says it when she wants money or love, okay? Mommy's gonna teach you how to swipe. Kimberly Dang, proud to be Vietnamese. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you for sharing the importance and history of the Vietnam War as a child refugee parent. I am forever grateful for the sacrifice. Oh, also, your Vietnamese is hi, hi. She said my Vietnamese is hi lum. Oh, your Kimberly Dang. Coco, can you just show everybody how you say mommy, mommy, my mommy? Wow, 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 mama my. Mama. Ah! Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. So anyway, you guys, I had so Daddy. much fun reading all the comments. Again, Ryan too caught all that Mama. epic footage, the drone shots, the beautiful scenic shots were all done by Ryan too. And this incredible trip could not have been done without your travel nation. I was very specific in one kind of I was very specific. Mommy. I was very specific <laughs> in what kind of trip I wanted for my first. <laughs> Please do click on the description below. You'll see your travel nation. That is the agency that made my trip happen. I was very specific in what kind of trip I wanted to take Jeezy on and they were incredible at honoring every single wish and they are able to make a trip happen at any budget. So do check out your travel nation. They are the best. A couple more comments. Mm -hmm. The world is so big and beautiful. I'm in a biracial relationship such as yourself. I think it's the most beautiful thing to blend and show each other our different cultures and foods. My question is, was Jeezy ever nervous as F but kept a gangster with it? You had his ass in the middle of an ocean battle and shit. <laughs> I can't even get my man's black ass in the pool, girl. <laughs> Can Jeezy swim? LOL, love you and God bless. Cynthia, you are my doll, girl. You are so funny. Jeezy can totally swim. In fact, he saved me in many instances because I am batshit crazy and I'm the type to go into an ocean without any apparatus to help me out. So um, that new lifesaver is now my husband. <laughs> I jumped right on him. Wow, Jeezy said mo hi bad pretty well. Totally. Mo hi bow. <laughs>
So this Vietage train is a one-of-a-kind experience that blends. It's not gonna bark a train. It's not a bark, it's a train. How far they run? Very fast. The train, the bark. Which one? A little bit of kiu, but with more expensive food and fancy decor. Like a Wild Wild West, right? Mom, it's the year 2023, Mom. Trains don't have to look like the Wild Wild West but anymore. Yeah, but like a Wild Wild West. We had the whole car to ourselves. I felt so spoiled. We had a full staff serving the best drinks and an eight-course French Vietnamese meal. We had our own butler who was so sweet and took such good care of us. Are you on first class? Mom, it's on beyond first class. It's like next level for it's the only class. It's only it's you, you and him. Five nobody star else. incredible first class. So nobody else, only you and him. Nobody else, only us in the entire train. Wow, well, they make money. So really good. Only part of them. So only us and they had these really cool sleeping quarters and it was for one person each, but honestly, I don't even care how luxurious or fancy it was. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm around a bunch of people I don't know. I slept right there on top of my husband for the whole six hours. Oh, he up you down. Oh, no, you down, up. we slept like this. Really? So you trying to say your guy making love in the train? No, I just slept on top of him. Honestly, we were too tired, so we just slept. The separate bed or you sleep on, no. on his body? I slept on his body like this. Oh, really? Yeah. The whole time, how can he breathe? Oh my god. Because gosh. I'm not that heavy. Oh my goodness. Are you done picturing things? I'm thinking the watermelon touching his chest and then- Anyway! Six hours later, we arrived at 1 a.m. in the Intercontinental Da Nang Hotel. Listen, the moment we arrived, the staff stayed up and welcomed us in person. I was so not expecting that. So there I was, standing in my dusty ass pajamas, holding this bouquet, trying to act fancy next to my husband. But I was just blown away by the incredible entrance just into the main foyer. The entire hotel is breathtaking. But listen, I also knew what I was walking into because the intercontinental Da Nang is situated along the shores of Da Nang. It's in this prime position off the coast of central Vietnam. Everybody knows of this luxurious hotel in the middle of Da Nang. It takes full advantage of its coastal location. It offers incredible panoramic views of the East Sea. Now, this hotel was designed by one of the world's most iconic hotel designers, Bill Bensley, who is known to blend indoor and outdoor spaces. His architecture combines sleek modern lines with traditional Vietnamese design elements, and it creates this captivating fusion. We stayed in the penthouse of the Intercon, and you could definitely see the homage to the country's rich cultural heritage, while it still offered this fresh contemporary aesthetic. Da Nang is known for its special floating breakfast experience. Jeezy and I see this on Instagram all the time, but we finally had our own moment to have a floating breakfast in the private pool, honey. I know, in the swimming pool? Yes. Wow. I know, mom, I'm gonna take you someday. I already told the general manager. I'm you better. You. I will take you, I promise. You remember whatever you say, I remember everything. So the next day was our actual anniversary, March 28th. Uh-huh. Jeezy and I spent the day just pampering ourselves with this stunning view. And then we had this sweetest surprise. So the agency that helped us put together this magical experience for Jeezy and I, Your Travel Nation, they planned the most intimate surprise dinner on the beach for two. I was so emotional because I wasn't expecting it. And it was just so romantic. We had this private chef, this unbelievable view. And we just reflected over the last two years with the sound of the crashing waves and our dinner by candlelight. Then our anniversary dinner on the beach in Da Nang was such an unforgettable moment. Intercontinental staff, we miss you guys so much. You are adorable. Mwah. Bye, everybody. <laughs> See you. Thank you. Thank you. Say hello to Monaco. I will. You. Okay, you guys. Bye. Hey, that's so cool. So as we headed to our next stop, my man actually had mm -hmm. his first haircut in Da Nang. They did a wonderful job and it was like five-star experience, mom. They laid him down in the chair, they steamed his face, they did a massage, they shaved every single thing they thought. He had no line. haircut. He bomb. Why are you talking about a haircut? Mom, he still cuts like the hair, like around his hair. Baby line. hair, right? Okay. Yes. All right. Right now, we are going somewhere that was very, very special 
to us because when we were planning to go to the city before we got married, my husband surprised me in Los Angeles. He decorated his whole place to look like Hoi An oh my and God. proposed to me. So now, for the first time, we're going to Hoi An together, now married. I'm crying now. <laughs> <laughs> so emotional. So we're going to Hoi An for the first time right now. The city of Lantern. Hoi An is a place where time just seems to stand still. It's where every street corner exudes charm and whispers tales of ancient Vietnam. It's a city that wraps you in a warm embrace of history and romance. It enchants your senses at every turn. Wandering through the lantern lit streets of Hoi An felt like stepping into a fairy tale. It's a place where love stories unfold, like ours. Hoi An is the home of dressmaking. Yes, most famously people go to Hoi An to custom make their clothing. So my brother, he took all the guys there and they all made new suits. We have to know your measurements, but they make up fast. Like how many days does it take? Uh, like, let's say one day. One day, they can make a whole suit for you. Don't worry, I can make you one. <laughs> so embarking on a river cruise in Hoi An was a magical experience that held a deeper significance for Jeezy and I. As we glided across the serene waters, the city's timeless beauty unfolded before us, setting the stage for this momentous chapter in our lives. But it wasn't just the breathtaking scenery that captivated us. It was the tradition of releasing little lanterns onto the water, each carrying our heartfelt wishes for our future together. With each lantern, we felt the weight of our dreams, aspirations, and love soaring into the night sky. As the lanterns illuminated the river, Jeezy and I were filled with hope and anticipation for the journey ahead. I wished for a lifetime of love, laughter, and shared adventures. Our hopes and dreams danced upon the water, intertwining with the vibrant energy of Hoi An. Our stay in Hoi An was at the Four Seasons Nam Hai. Okay, you're getting the raw deal since we just got here yesterday and have been a little rushed and tacky. And here is shower number one. And then you have the outdoor oasis surrounded by gardens and a little sanctuary. So beautiful. Bathtub, because why not chill with your homies while you're taking a little bath? A raised platform bed over to the seating area. Your beautiful beachfront villa. Oh, these feet washing stations are everywhere. There's an entrance. On our first date night out, we joined the ladies of Secret Cocktail Experience, where we are taking through hidden bars throughout Hoi An to try the best and most unique cocktails. Our hosts, Q and Natalia, were so fun in having us taste adventurous cocktails that you could imagine. I even had a pho cocktail, Mom. Pho? What do you mean pho cocktail? I had a pho The cocktail. noodle and beef and everything raw on the cocktail and you drink the soup. I can do it at home very cheap too. You'll have to wait until my favorite destinations in Vietnam video to see the pho cocktail we made. Wow. See? Wait, what? This is so good. It's got soy sauce in it. I thought it was going to taste like a broth. As Jeezy and I strolled along the lantern-lined streets of Hoi An, we found ourselves immersed in a scene straight out of a storybook, y'all. The town, adorned with vibrant lanterns in an array of colors, created this captivating visual spectacle that ignited my excitement with every corner I turned. Hoi An's vibrant night market also comes alive. It buzzes with activity and enticing aromas. You've got stalls lying down the streets. You've got an array of goods everywhere you look. It's an experience that lingers far long after the lanterns fade. She tried to say no matter what, if you go to Vietnam, fly on the way to Da Nang and after that go Hoi An. Make sure you go to the train and make love before you get there. That's it. Done. Can Something is wrong with you. No, you talk so long. I'm trying to explain to people the cinematic vision that I saw when I was there. By the time they send you, they fall to sleep. Next one, your head. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about FAP now. Are you going French now? Today, in order to really understand Hoi An and how somebody lives and survives in Hoi An, mm. we are spending time with Fap and his family mm. as he's showing us 
what they do, how they survive, the agriculture they grow, their beautiful farm, and we're going to take a countryside ride to Hoyan with them today. Mm. Yo! He says that you look like a rapper and your mannerisms give him like American musician vibes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anh làm nhạc á, à, anh là người rapper dạ. Yeah. You know any rappers? Em hay cầu cái 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 Johnny Dang á chị Johnny Dang. Yeah, Johnny Dang. Em hay follow cái anh đó. Yeah. That's my friend. Dạ, yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Làm làm dây chuyền bự nè, nó có câu. That's so Diamond funny. Boy. Diamond boy. <laughs> The annual flood season in Hoi An occurs from late October to January. Over the years, residents of this ancient town have learned to live with the floods. You can see on the walls, this is where the flood comes up to. And there's a boat here all ready to go for when the house floods. What the heck? So, I'm going to go. When this water floods up to here, they stack the bed on top of each other and they sleep on top of the flood. The water on the his back. Oh my god. That is a huge pig. See the sow. His name is Black. Her name is Black. Hi, Dan. Wow, <laughs> 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 Oh, uh -huh. so we have perfume, so they'll run after us, so he keeps them in there, but they, they're they allowed to roam. How, how old is your father? 59. 59? 59? Yeah. 59? Yeah. 59? He's so young. Wow. <laughs> ba con là, ba con là tuổi. Yeah. If I knew the mission, I could get it done. <laughs> Chú, mình làm sao? Mình chỉ làm cho cái đất nó Cúc lên được, dầm cúc lên He said, get all of it, get all of it up Make it soft So right now, I am taking herbs Mint specifically And I am planting them for the harvest So next year, baby, when we return You will have a garden of fresh mint from your wife Tài nè mà sao làm? Hả? Tài nè mà sao Yes, làm được chứ Cái tay cái tay này nó lo cho baby á, có biết không? Chùi đít baby làm hết đít À, really? Yes He said, how can I do it with my nails? How dare you? Đẹp không? Đẹp, quá đẹp See? Translate that Easy, Zay Easy Let's go Go for it Let's go Dad Hold my thumb Oh my god Yeah, that's my husband! Yeah. Eggplant, I don't know what to do with an eggplant. Got the eggplant, don't get something else. Right. No! No! What happened? Get it. You gotta get it. You're leaving, you're leaving food. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you can Let's make... get a form, she says. <laughs> I love Vietnamese food and there's so many herbs involved. I never stop to think where these herbs come from. Bending over to pick up that eggplant, I got sore after two eggplants. Now, you know I am not missing out on no bike riding through paddy fields. Let's go. In Vietnamese culture, we believe that our ancestors continue to guide and protect us even after they've passed away. That's why we bury our family members close to our homes. It's a beautiful way to keep their spirits close and nurture that strong connection between the living and the departed. So this was a very spiritual moment riding through the graveyards within Gonoi. But still, I wouldn't be riding through here at night. Thank you. 
After our bike ride, we took all the herbs that we picked from the garden and we made our own button sail. Then I sat with Fab's sister who told me that she learned to speak English from YouTube. So I showed her the best show on YouTube, which is... Hi, hello, honey. Yeah, mom, hello, honey. This show right here. I will never ever forget this family. I still wear my hair tie that she gifted me to this day, and Jeezy and I hope to come back to visit them in Vietnam sometime soon. Thank you, my fat boy, Paris. What the hell? He loves you. He warmed up by the end. Look at him, look at him. Look at him, oh my God. Dang, he's so cute. Babe, I love him. He put his nose against the glass. Oh my God, my heart. Come to Hanoi, baby. You know, somebody want to go to the room and go to sleep. I'm ready to turn up. I do. I want to relax. The champ is here. I'm ready to turn up. Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, is a city that pulses with energy, history, and a distinct charm. It's also where Papa Mai is from. As you wander through the bustling streets, you're greeted by a fascinating blend of old world elegance and vibrant modern class. Hanoi's people are very warm, so resilient, and there's a some. strong, huh? Some, few, not all of them. So we should note here that Mama Mai is from Saigon, Papa Mai is from Hanoi. Yes. The locals have a deep pride in their city and they're eager to share their heritage and culture with the visitors. Yes. And what sets Hanoi apart from Saigon is that it's a more laid back and nostalgic vibe. Saigon is known for more busy, bustling, cosmopolitan-like oh, yeah. atmosphere. Hanoi maintains this sense of timelessness and a slower pace, just like the difference between Papa Mai and Mama Mai. <laughs> I'm more action. First time to Hanoi, Vietnam, and I heard all about the Bill Bensley Hotel. So now we are going into our home for the next few days here in Hanoi. Look at our welcome letter. <gasps> And I did these personal touches of Coco everywhere. My handsome husband who fits right into the city. He looked really cute, baby. Look at these pictures. He's so thoughtful. Look at my little Coco bean. This bathtub though. Hello, honey. I really prefer small bathtubs like this, by the way. I don't like bathtubs that make me feel like I'm wasting so much water. This bathroom is the cutest. Oh, oh shit. Me. Welcome to Hanoi. So this right here, I was so excited about. My husband's favorite ultimate thing to do outside of his kids, uh -huh. outside of work, outside of his cigars, is to what? Go fishing or what? Give me a five. That's all you can do, nothing to do in Hanoi. <laughs> and I thought, what could be better than to embark on an exhilarating fishing adventure in the heart of Hanoi, Vietnam. Here we go. Here we go, baby's first time fishing in Vietnam. Baby, down ngoài kia tí thả cái ổ mồi của mình ở ngoài đó. Oh. Thả ngoài xa đó. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, so mom, I saw this guy and he was holding the long pipe. Uh huh. I'm smoking the pipe. Wow, no, he's smoking. I know he, baby. Dude, that's the thing. I'm not smoking that shit. Yes, try it. Got okay, you see that, huh? Too loud. And he let me smoke it. He old, he young. He was older. He's older. Yes, and he was smoky and he had a bag of some brown stuff. I've only smoked that one time before. That's another story. He Jay, Jay smoked you? He did not. Oh, he Jay saw you smoke? Yes. But the opposite. Go ahead. Why, when you do it, you breathe it in. No, you have it to take this out. I can't see Jay <laughs> Babe, I'm high. They hit so good. It goes like. We'll do mango bites, babe. I love it. My mother smoked this since she's 13. She's 91 now. She got, she got COBD. <laughs> That's good. COBD? COPD. What's that? Uh, chest chronic. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Now that I was vibing, we were ready to fish. So first, our friend here plots the bait, which goes into the center of the pond. Then, we wait. What are you waiting for, baby? Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still waiting. 
and we're waiting. All right, waiting just took forever. So we decided to go do what the Vietnamese do best. Baby, this beats going shopping, right? Whole Foods. <laughs> Pick some fruit. One, two, three, yeah. boom. What are they doing? What? Oh my God, the roots. Oh my God, how we're going to take it back. I, wow. I feel like we just went shopping, baby. <gasps> I don't know what the hell a chung chung is, but it can chung the hell out of here. Shit was nasty. What does it mean chung? I don't know. This thing was chunging in my hair. I don't know. It was like he said it was a chung chung. There's something wrong, man. There's something. Hey, hey. Neighbor, are you sure there's not an ant? No, you good. Maybe they, they have different dialect. Oh, oh let's yeah. talk about the dialect. People in Hanoi yeah. talk very different then, than the people from the um, South. It's um, well, very hard to understand the I people agree. from Hanoi. This guy told me a chung chung went in my hair, so I don't know what a chung chung is, but... Okay, anyway, that, that was... Ugh. So, Mom, while we were waiting for the fish, mm -hmm. the family at the fishing pond cooked dinner mm -hmm. for me and Jay. Right. And it was... So beautiful. We sat down on a huge, you know, the Vietnamese spread of everything you could think of. They killed two chickens in front of us. Okay. Oh my God. Very organic. They got fish from the pond. Okay. They hide all of the rau, the greens, from the actual garden right there in front of us. So good. Yep. And they cut us fruit from the actual trees in wow. the orchard Everything that fresh. we from. Everything was fresh and they made us their own liquor. It's called rice wine. That's right, the fish run away because oh. too many people. Oh. You gotta have a party oh. there. And I loved because they loved Jay so much. And every time we took a shot, they made us go. <sighs> yeah, that's a Vietnamese style. What is that? Ooh, so good, I like it. I never knew that was a thing. That's what they were making us do. I could, I didn't understand it. Anh Dong, 35. He guesses you're 35. And Anh Dong, 28. He guesses you're 28. I, I, I get uh, 30. 30 years so, old. So wow, 29. 29. Wow. So how old? Say how old you are. 40. 45. Whoa. That's what we say. Black don't crack. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Anh dài đôi chiếu hoa cho em chạy giữa nhà. Now that our tummies were full and our beards were grown grown, we were ready to catch that fish. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, oh, there, 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 there. Wow. wow. That day of fishing was the most epic experience we will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also our last night in Hanoi, so we couldn't just end it there. And luckily, the creator of the first ever Vietnamese gin distilled in Vietnam, Daniel Nguyen, and his partner were free to come hang with us for the night. He created the first ever Vietnamese gin. It's called Song Kai. Daniel took us mm -hmm. to the mood therapist's lab. Okay, walking mm -hmm. in, I felt like we were handed a key to like an extraordinary world that exists beyond the prying eyes of the masses. Richard pretty much created the most unforgettable cocktail of adventure for Jeezy and I. Is it good or not? It was it's innovative, imaginative. It was free. Oh, free, I'll take it. <laughs> Mom, wow. it was a night to remember. You guys created an unforgettable evening to our last night in Hanoi. When we come back, we can see him. Yes. And I can drink. Yes. Make sure you give Mom my full drink. So guys, this was just part two of our epic... Guys, this... 
This is the part two. She talking about number one. She make love on the train. Number two, she go to Hoi An to see a lot of uh, Latin. Number three, she go fishing for wait for two or three hours. And fishing only one fish. And the final, she drinking and she get drunk. And you talk so long for the whole thing. Right? Anyway, you guys, there's a couple questions here that I wanted to share with you, mom. Oof. Mama Mai don't play with the insults. She's just like my mama. That's where we got our thick skin from. That's Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. I love you. Ah! I hate that everything in your life is now content. Instead of enjoying your baby, your husband, and your marriage, you are using it all for content. What a jealous girl. What happened to her? Don't forget to subscribe. We love you guys. We love you guys. I gotta go catch some selfies with my baby for some content. Okay. My fam. Can you believe that we are only in part two of our trip to Vietnam? So next week will be part three of my travel series and the final two, our trip to Vietnam. And then I have a special bonus episode coming up for you guys. You guys, you're gonna really love the final episode. So please subscribe and don't forget to comment below. Bye.